sir, uh, with a great two hamstring tear, Hanuma Vihari was standing there facing world's best pace attacks. So, how difficult would that have been for him playing over there, playing a knock, setting up a base for the Brisbane Test? What is the pain like? How difficult is to pay, uh, how difficult is to bat in that condition? Um, I, Hanuma Vihari was preferred ahead of Karun Nair in the tour of yeah. England. Okay, at yeah. that point in time, there was a lot of criticism because Karun Nair had got a triple hundred at Chennai in Stingman. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, on the tour, when Anama Vihari was played in the 11 ahead of uh, Karun Nair, there was a lot of criticism. That's where yeah. you have to go to Ravi Shastri again. Because people tend to forget what happened in the past. Yeah. It's the attitude that you show in the nets. Yeah. The attitude that you show when you're with the Indian team that got Vihari into the side ahead of Karun Nair. And Vihari yeah. displayed that uh, kind of uh, investment that Ravi Shastri had made way back in England in the test match in Sydney where they fought really, really hard to save a test match. Yeah. No pain, no gain. You've got to take it in your stride. You've got to play with injuries. You've got to learn to play for your country. And yeah. it's playing for India. They call it New mm -hmm. India with the test because of a lot of youngsters. But I thought Bihari was picked by Ravi Shastri just because of his attitude. And the attitude came out 100% where the world could see what Bihari was made of. He batted yes, with the injury along with Ashwin who played with the back back. They saved the, yeah. test. They saved the test match and that's what is really important. Yes, definitely. As the injury kept on increasing after the historic uh, win, which was actually, uh, it was a draw after the third uh, test. But then, sir, from that moment, going to Gaba without Hanuma Vihari, without Ashwin, without their uh, pace attacks, bowlers, how difficult would that be for, for Indians, from Indians' perspective? Very, very difficult. But they have yeah. a really good coach. Really yeah. good. Uh, head coach and Ravi Shastri and a really good bowling coach in uh, Arun. Yeah. See, Ravi Shastri, I've known him for 40 years. Okay. Even at the beginning of his career, when he played for India, he played as a left arm spinner. And yeah. then he became an opening batsman. So it yeah. was all about uh, determination, what the team wanted, he was willing to do. So yeah. he never gave up. He was the kind of cricketer who would never give up. And he would have been yeah. still the same thing and uh, the boys and told them to go out there and play with a lot of heart and guts and courage. And yeah. uh, I think uh, the bowling coach also, Bharatarun, yeah. was instrumental. I mean, he was working at NCA for a few years. Yeah. These boys were youngsters. So yeah. he groomed these boys in NCA. Now he, that he's working in, with the Indian team, along with the same set of boys, yeah. I think he's uh, been absolutely brilliant in his job. Yeah. In able to get 20 wickets. 20 wickets in yeah. almost every they play. And yeah. that's one of the main reasons that uh, we've been winning test matches and number one in the hmm. uh, in ICC. Yeah. And so what can be the reason behind all these injuries? Was it because IPL was recently concluded or was it the quarantine or was it the lack of training or excessive of training? What was the reason behind so many injuries getting being witnessed this tour? I think it's a quarantine. I think it's okay. a quarantine has to stay indoors for a period of time. Because these kind of professional sports persons are training almost every day to keep fit. Yeah. Staying or not, their physical fitness is a very, very important part. And the quarantine yeah. 14 days they had in Dubai before yeah. the IPL and after the IPL they were quarantined 14 days in Dubai. Then they went to Australia. Then they had another quarantine period in uh, Sydney. So this quarantine period, you're not able to do anything. So when yeah. you don't do anything and suddenly you come and play cricket at the highest level. Yeah. Body, body doesn't take it. Yeah. I mean, if you're used to the grind every day, then your body is able to take it. But yeah. if you're not used to the grind for a period of 10 days or 14 days, and suddenly yeah. the body doesn't take the intensity is the word that I'm looking for. Intensity of uh, high level cricket. So thereby... There was a lot of injuries. Yeah.